man, that's fire. I like that, man. Melody is nice. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I really appreciate everything that you guys are doing to support the channel. Shout out to all you guys for the likes, the comments, and also the subscriptions. I appreciate that. Today, I have a nice video that I'm going to get into with you guys. I'm going to give you five tips on why your melodies aren't sounding the way that they're supposed to sound. A lot of people have been asking me to break it down on a simple level and also give you some of my tips that I use when I'm in my music production. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna give you some small tips, let you guys kind of see exactly what I do when I create my melodies and just some things that a lot of beat makers and producers don't think about when you're creating your melodies. But before we get this thing going, if this is your first time with us, hit that subscribe button and also click that bell notification. That way you guys can get notified every single time I post content just like this. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the NPC software and let me show you these melody tips. Let's do it. All right, the first tip that I'm gonna take you guys through is just um, very, very simple. When you use the pad perform in the NPC, it gives you the chords, it gives you the notes, it gives you all of that. So you can put it in notes, or you can put it in chords. But one tip that's gonna help you guys out is when you put it in notes, try not to stick to the chords that they give you. I know they give you the one, three, five, one, three, seven, all that good stuff like that. But what you can do is put it in notes and then feel around for your own chords. And the way I do it is I always look at shapes. So the L shape, two, two, two pads up and down, then skip one across. Two pads up and down, skip one across. See, so that L shape, that's how you can kind of figure out what you want. Or you can do the, I call this the V shape. One pad, diagonal, and then diagonal up. So one pad, diagonal down, and then diagonal up. See, so look at that. And then you can do the same thing. Diagonal up, diagonal down. So first tip is feel around. Don't stick to the chords that they give you. You know, you can feel around, make some different shapes, and then you'll come up with something. Let's tap out a tempo. I want something nice and dreamy and slow. So let's tap out a tempo. So let's go with like 130. Let's, let's. Let's do probably 135. Let's see if we can do something. So now I kind of got some different chords that I can work with, not just the exact ones that the NPC gives me. I kind of felt my way around just with some different shapes. I used that. So I did diagonal down, and then instead of diagonal up, I skipped over one. So it's diagonal down, diagonal up. And then I did the L shape here. And then I did the diagonal down, diagonal up without skipping one. And that's pretty much the chords there. And then I did another L shape up here. Okay, another reason why your melodies may, might, may not be turning out the way you want them to turn out is um, just sticking to the same old bottom notes that they give you. See, when we lay down these chords, what most people do is they highlight all of the bottom notes like this, you know, just to kind of give it a more full feel. Then they, they duplicate them. An octave down. Okay, and that's good. You can do that. Or what you can do is let's erase that. You can go to the NPC, taking an octave down, 
And then you can kind of come up with your own little variation of the note. So I'll show you. Now we have some bottom notes that give our chords a nice lush feel, but it doesn't stick to just the same exact notes that are hitting on the chords. Now we have a nice little bottom melody that's that's different, it's melodic, and it kind of flows with the beat. That may be one of the reasons why your beat's not turning out. Instead of just bringing those, those bottom notes down and making your beat full, try and work your way again around the pads, create some different bottom notes, and that will give your beat a nice feel instead of just the old, the regular old bass notes. Okay, another tip as to why your melodies may not be coming out right is um, not putting the proper effects on your melodies or not putting any, any effects at all. Sometimes you just stick with this melody. This melody is kind of nice, but we want to give it some type of effect. And a lot of companies make that very easy. One of the ones that you see a lot is this effect here by Cable Guys. It's the halftime plugin. There are a lot like this to where you can affect the beat. You can do whatever you want to a beat and kind of get it warped and do all kind of stuff. There's Shaper Box, there's Halftime, um, there's Isotope Vinyl, there's RC20, all of those different ones out there. Leave me a comment below um, and let me know what plugins you use like this that warp your sounds. I love to know, you know, effect tricks, all of that stuff like that, you know. Let me know which ones you use. That way I can go check those out. But Halftime is a very, a very popular one, and that's what we're going to use just to affect the melody. So let's see what Halftime does to it. Let's see. Now, after you use the halftime plugin, it's going to put that half speed on it. So this is the time that you can now pitch up your notes. So we're in B flat minor. Let's see if we can pitch that up three. So now that pitched it up to D. And this is another trick. Don't just stop there with the, with the effects. What I like to do is I like to go inside the Akai, the Akai effects that comes with the MPC. And I go down to this tremolo sync right here, tremolo sync. And I kind of work with that as another effect. Now check out what this does to the beat. See, it kind of gives it that wobbly feel. See, so that's just a good idea. Make use of the Akai effects. Sometimes those will bring some melodies out, make it do some crazy and weird things that that uh, that you never expected just by using those simple effects that come inside of the, the uh, Akai software already. Tip number three, you may get to the point to where you're trying to fit something around this melody so bad that you want just this melody to work out, just this sound to work out. But sometimes just going back and search for some different sounds while you have the melody already playing can do some wonderful things. So let's go back into the Electra X preset. Um, right now we're using a sad piano. Let's see if we can find a different sound, just something that kind of gives it a bit a bit more of a of a nice feel. It's kind of nice right there. I kind of like that right there. Let's go with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the actual effects of, of, of Electra X. Like right here, the ADSR, this is what we're going to mess with. Nice, nice. Just to kind of take off a little bit, just to kind of let it fade in. 
Okay, you know, just something like that, just to give it a different feel. So don't be afraid to mess with some of the effects in your plugin. Don't be afraid to change up the sound. Do that whenever you got the melody already planned, and you'll be surprised at what you can come out with. It might change the whole scope of your beat just simply because you went find another sound. All right, another tip that helps your melodies to be better and the reason why your melodies may not be sounding right is layering sounds good always good to layer sounds but sometimes the wrong sounds are layered like right now you have kind of like a dragging sound so if we was to layer an instrument on top of this same notes and just layer an instrument on top we want something with some sharp notes now or if you have something with some sharp notes, you want something with a dragon feel to layer on, on top of it. So not only layering, but understanding exactly the instrument you want to layer. That's that's very, very key in, um, in getting a good sound. So we're going to drop a top melody on this beat real quick. And then we're going to layer this. And I'm going to show you what I mean. gonna do is we're gonna copy this melody right here and we're just gonna make sure this bar is at the beginning we're gonna hit control a to highlight then control c to copy and then we're gonna hit control right bracket to to go to our next track and then we're gonna hit control v to paste that so that's simple that's all we did very quickly we copied the melody and i have another instance of electro x on this so let's try and find our instrument now now remember, we had a dragon sound in that first um, in the in the first melody, so we want to layer this with something kind of sharp to give it a little bit of a feel. sparkling bells with the kind of like arpeggiated feel that is nice just this right here gave the beat a different feel another tip with your melodies is something that i've been doing for a while now i've just found a better way of doing it i've been using vocals on my beats that's really really nice and that will definitely give your melodies a bit of a jump so what i used to do is i used to have vocal chops that i would take from records old school 60s 70s records and i would pitch them to the tone of my beats and just use like simple chops like that and it worked very very well i would make a lot of a lot of uh a lot of nice textures with 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 that but this is the new way of doing it now so let's go to track five and then we're gonna we're gonna grab a new plugin and you guessed it uh the plugin is arcade and arcade has some absolutely amazing vocal chops in it it's absolutely off the chain it's a really really nice uh way of of um of adding some vocal kits to it. so what i do i go to kits right here and then i just type in vocal And it's gonna give me a few of those kits that have some nice, some nice um, vocal sounds in it. Gritty female vocals. Let's see something like that. We may find something in there. So all you gotta do is just hit this, this, this owl right here. It's gonna download it, and then we're gonna hit play, and we should be ready to go. So let's see if we can come up with something. Use some vocals, any type of vocals. You can even record your own vocals if you have a good enough singing voice. Record your own vocals, bring them into the NPC, chop them up, put some effects on them, 
layer some nice little light vocals underneath and give your beat that nice little airy feel. And I guarantee your melodies are going to spike up 100%. There you have it guys. Sometimes it's just these small melody tips that get your beats to go from bottom to top level production instantly. If you got any value from these tips, make sure you drop me a comment below and also drop me a like. It helps to put this video in front of more people who can actually use this content. So please do that for your boy. I really appreciate that. I just want to remind you guys, yes, my new sample pack Omni Melodies has now dropped and it is now available on the website. Thank you guys for picking it up. You guys made it a hit as soon as it dropped. All of you guys were waiting on it. I'm sorry for the wait, but I just wanted to make sure I got it nice and right for you guys. So I appreciate all you guys that have one downloaded. Yes, I do see all of the shout outs, all of the love that you guys are showing. I really, really appreciate that. If you haven't got it, make sure you go down and grab that. As I always do, it is on sale for you guys when it first dropped. That way you guys can get it for a nice, decent price. So make sure you guys head on down to the website, grab that today. That way you guys can get it for that sale price. Make sure you drop me a follow on Instagram at The Drink King. I love seeing those shout outs that you guys give me. Thanks so much for rocking with me, guys. This is your boy DZD, aka The Drink King, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. And I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out.